They've just created a new template um, which shows you how to style in a bit more depth um, any ebook that you're using. So, you know, this can be good for agencies or pro users or standard users um, because I go through like how to drill deep in the styling. So I'm just going to call this health template one. Okay. Um, and, you know, in this template or in this style, I'm just going to show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is how the PDF will come out. Okay, so with different font headings and these lines underneath the page headers, uh, page footers. Um, and let me just show you how I, got, how I created this, this ebook. What I've done is I've just created a blank project um, here so I can show you. This is just the Stockholm one, which, you know, you get as standard. And... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create one for the health niche. So let's say I've got something, you know, about healthy eating. Okay. So let's start with the cover image. So I'm just clicking on the background here and I'm going to select the image icon at the top, set cover image, and it pops up my media manager. So I'm going to go to the search. And I think I'll search something healthy like apples. You can search for cucumbers or something, you know, just really simple that's going to make a good background. Okay. So for example, you know, maybe this one here, just apples. See what that looks like. Okay, so, you know, I think that's quite a cool, quite a cool image. So, um, let's go, let's run with that. You know, first of all, obviously this is a green. So I really, I kind of want the rest of the book to be styled in the same way, right? So let's start with um, the headings. So what I'm going to do is this heading font, is I'm gonna I'm gonna change it to something a bit more softer, so something like dancing script. Okay, um, let's do the same here with the footer. Change that to dancing script, and then this um, background. In this situation, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of the background and put a a line underneath it, right? So, um, and if I, if I get rid of this background color and make it like white, then obviously this text is going to disappear. So let's make the text right now. Let's change this to a matching green. So I've highlighted the heading. I'm going to text style on the left, clicking on the text color. And I'm going to just choose this green here. Uh, maybe that one's a bit closer. Yeah, that one's a bit closer to the, the apple. Obviously I can hard code. Um, a color code if I wanted to, but for now let's just do this. And then I'm going to select the container, so I've selected this whole container and I'm going to go to the background. And remember I want to kind of remove this, so what I'm going to do is go to color and using this I can just scroll all the way up and make it white, okay? And the other thing I can do just to remove the color completely is scroll this slider, this is the opacity. If I slide this over to the left then it goes completely transparent. Okay, so I've now got a transparent uh, header there. And then what I'm going to do is put a line underneath it. Okay, and the way to do that is to go to this option here called border. And so I have the border, I'm going to select the line underneath and see it goes white there. Okay, and then what style of border is I want a solid line. So I can select solid. And then I need to select a color. So I click on the border color. And I'm just going to choose that same color to match the text. Okay. So click on choose. Now if I click away, can you see what's happened? I've got that line there now. All right. So let's do the same to the bottom. Okay. So first of all, I'm just going to select the text. And just go text style. Let's check. Put the color in as that green I had before. Then select the container. Then I'm going to select, oh, I'm going to go to the background. Select the background color here. And, oh no, I was going to make that transparent, wasn't it? There we go. Transparent uh, white. Okay. Okay, right, so I've got that done. Now let's have a look at the text itself. So um, a lot of the default fonts here, if you click on the paragraph, um, and go to textile. Remember anything, when you click on a paragraph and go to the textile, you're affecting the style, so the whole document. 
So anything, any change I make here will change every paragraph in the whole document. If I want to do something individually, just for this paragraph, then I use the controls here above it. So, you know, all I'm going to change here from the text is I'm just going to make it, um, first of all, smaller, like that. And then I'm going to change it to like a, a Times style um, font. like that okay um, and so basically I've got a much smaller font um, it's like a time style so it's a serif font and, um, and that, that looks pretty cool and then so let's do the heading to match okay uh, so Garamond again um, and so the only other thing that will probably still need styling is any any uh, lists okay so if I go into elements go to typography then I've got order lists and unordered lists so if I drag that in here like that you can see it's still the large style so I need to change that to 14 and then you can switch from an ordered list so an order list has numbers on it to an unordered list so in other words just bullets using this toggle here See toggle list type. So if I click that once, then it changes to a bullet list. Then I'll just do the same thing here, 14. Okay, and now I've got both types of list that um, are listed there. Okay, so then all you need to do is uh, save that. And the last thing I want to do here is on the heading, I'm just going to give that a border on the bottom. Okay, again, I'm going to go to the border, select it, select the type of line I want, like that, click on the border color, and it's there. So that's wherever a heading is used, then it'll always have this border underneath. All right, and that's it set. So all you do need to do then is save. If you have an agency license, then um, what you can do is save that as a template you might want to change the headers here um, or add a um, specific subheading in here let's have a look at that so let's finish this off just with a bit of styling on the front here so um, first of all let's click the container again let's make the background a green one just to make the style all consistent and then I'm gonna put the opacity all the way down so it's just enough to make the text stand out. I change the font style to match the other uh, fonts so dancing script a bit softer. Um, you can drag this or arrange this you might want to wait till the title comes in um, to do that but you know you can position that you can, in fact you can position this wherever you want on the header. But the other thing you might want is like a subhead, okay? And the way to do that is to go to Elements here, and go to Typography, and go to Paragraph, and just drag that in like that, okay? And um, again, you'll want to style that. So I'm going to style um, this particular one. Um, if I click on Edit, because I'm styling just this element, then here I can style the background color, all right, like that. And... Again, I'm going to make it opaque. And then I can style the font. And I need to just make that white. Okay, so this is like your subhead. And generally, um, you would want that to be in a different font to your header. Okay. And then again, you can just put that wherever you want, like that. Okay, so now you've got a header. You got the, oh yeah, we just need to change that again. To make that lighter. All 
All right, cool. So we've got a header, we've got a style title, um, we've got new fonts, we've got a subheader, um, we've got the author, we've now got really nicely styled uh, page headers, page footers, um, lists, and uh, a new font. So that completes this video. That's really just to show you what the capabilities are um, when you know you're creating your ebooks in terms of styling um, and how quick and easy it is to create templates especially if you're an agency because what you can do now is just save that and make it a template for you know any of your future um, documents and so the, just to show you how to do that it's this button here okay convert to template right and that's um that's how you style uh, a template for any of your ebooks